Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. Today, I am super excited to be showing you how easy it is to set up multicolor printing with the H2C Vortex tool changing. The reason why I'm doing this video is I understand when there's new technology coming out, it can get a little intimidating. I wanted to break that barrier for you guys, show you how easy it is to set up these colors. I got this witch model. I'm going to be printing this for my daughter for her little collection that she has of, and she's going to use it in her own little adventures that she does with her horses and things like that. And this is going to be a villain. And I thought it was perfect to use this as a, an example of taking a solid colored model. We're going to go ahead and paint it. And then we're going to print it with zero waste using the Vortec color changing system on the H2C. So the first thing that we need to do is go over to our device tab. Now, if you've had experience with an AMS system, this is going to be very similar. I've never had experience with the dual nozzles before the H2C. I don't have an H2D. Um, it is very similar to the H2D, except we obviously have the color changing Vortec system inside the machine. The way that, that this works is on the left hand side over on the outside of the machine, I have my black uh, filament set up. I know that's going to be one of the main colors, so that is going to be the only uh, color that's going to be running off of my external roll. So that's already installed for the left side. The right side is hooked up to the AMS. I have these four colors set up. This is like a brown, like a lighter brown. It's not exactly this color, but it's a little lighter than this. And we have this purple bamboo color here. We have this bone bamboo color here, and then we have this generic PLA gray here as well. So. What I'm going to do is make sure that we have our colors set up correctly. I'm guessing that once we paint the model, Bamboo Studio is going to guide us on where it wants the filaments to be. Me already having experience with this, knowing there's going to be mostly black, we're going to we're going to pull the black away from the AMS and just have it run its own on its own nozzle. So, let's go back into prepare, let's sync our colors. Now, you're going to get this kind of a window when you have an H2C there's six nozzles. I obviously have missing one here. I have two other nozzles that are a 0.2 millimeter and a 0.6 millimeter. I have more, it's hard to see right here, but I have more 0.4 millimeter uh, Vortec nozzles coming in. And what I'm going to do is replace these three here and they're going to be, it's going to be a 6.4 millimeter nozzles, which will allow me to do, I believe seven colors without waste. Um, this is what I have set up right now. You just click okay, sync your filaments. Um, there's nothing colored on this machine or on this model yet. So, I mean, as of right now, we're just going to overwrite and bring our colors into our palette over here. So great. Now we have our colors we can use. Here's our four AMS colors here. And then we have our black that's on the um, external filament roll. So what we're going to do, we're going to go click on our model, go into color painting. Now I'll probably skip ahead and around on this because I don't want you guys to just follow along. This isn't a painting tutorial, it's just to show you. So I'll probably just kind of fast forward through this section, get to the end, and then I can show you how easy it is to print. And then we'll obviously I'll have the time lapse to show you and the final model as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start painting now. All right, I think this is looking pretty great. I want to make sure I do a slice first, just to check to see where we're looking with color changes, things like that. Yeah, we got some, looks like I don't have my settings uh, set up yet. So let's go under here. Two and 15 should be perfectly fine. Three and let's go ahead and try that again. Now, under the slicing mode, you can see there is filament saving mode. We have convenience mode and custom mode. This allows a little bit more flexibility, but I think I've already got, um, oh, no, looks like it wants purple. So I decided purple was going to be better suited to have on my external spool. 
15 hours. It's a total filament of 165 grams. So for a model like this, with this color, I mean, that's pretty freaking amazing. Uh, the prime tower is taking up 23%. Still can't get rid of the prime tower. So filament changes, 1,200. It's not changing filaments. It's actually changing nozzles. Before I even think about sending this to the printer, I am going to have my daughter take a look at it before we have any adjustments because she probably will. What do you think? Why is she completely white? She's not. She's white in her face and her hands. But I colored the, the staff. It's got multiple colors here. How about if I just do the brown down here and then make this part black? So you want to make this brown, this lower section? So we're approval. We didn't use a whole lot of brown, but we got some in there, which is fine. How about this? Do you want this gray to be to turn black? No. Gray? I okay. Like that. Cool. We got some gray in here. We got gray over here. She's got purple. Ooh, that looks cool. Mm -hmm. So it look almost looks like their staff is like burnt. I like that. Let's see what we got now. I think we got approval from my daughter. Dad, this is the prime. Twelve hundred. Oh, that's not much more than it was. Twelve hundred. 1,223 nozzle purges. I'll, I'll tell you when it starts printing. All right, so let's see. Does it still want me to, now that we made those changes, is it still, oh, see, now it went back. So now that we added more black in there, it decided to put the black back over on the outside, which is where I had it set. So good. We don't have to make any changes. That's just on the filament savings. You have the convenience mode here, generates filament grouping for the left and the right nozzles based on the printer's actual filament status, reducing the need for manual filament adjustments. So this would be like convenience. Like if you already have your filament set like I did, then it would basically say, okay, well, we're just gonna do, we're just gonna print this based off of your filament arrangement, which is the black on the outside and this in the AMS. A way to eliminate a lot of this would be to run an, two AMSs. So you can run an AMS on the right, an AMS on the left, and no matter where your filaments are, it's always going to be okay. So, I mean, that would be an additional convenience for you doing multicolor stuff. For me, I already kind of knew the black was going to prob probably need to be on the outside. So I, I put it there ahead of time. But if I really wanted to, I could say, hey, don't, don't uh, try to optimize it print based off of the savings mode. Just do it based off of the um, convenience and then you can do manual. This will basically allow you to select and put your filaments where you want um, to, for, for the printing. Let's go ahead and go back. Filament saving mode, slice it. We're good to go. Saving 504 grams of filament. And it's going to be 1,400 nozzle changes. It's not too bad. The first print I did was 2, 000, over 2,000. It was two days long. And um, that's in my other video. I will add a link in the description. Before we hit send... Basically what we need to do is this color is already loaded into the right nozzle. This color is loaded into the left nozzle. This color is loaded into um, nozzle one. This color is loaded into nozzle three. And this color is, loaded, is going to be loaded into nozzle five. Now when you send this print to the printer, it will poop for the first time to purge out whatever filament or color happens to be in that nozzle. And once it's done that the first time, it won't do it after that. It's not really, to be honest, not wasting anything. It's just getting the nozzle primed and filled up with the, with the color. That's basically the only waste we'll see besides obviously this prime tower here. And I look forward to seeing some optimizing that, you know, bamboo, bamboo labs does for the, the prime towers. I think it's I think it's going to continue to get better and I mean I'm ecstatic to see this machine and it's opened a lot of opportunities and a lot of fun I'm into 3D printing now. I've always stayed away from multicolor printing a lot unless the model was broken apart and you can print it separately but this just I mean you can see I just print I just literally colored this model for my daughter and it's it's going to turn out pretty awesome. I already know it. I'm going to go ahead and send this you're going to see a time lapse. I'll show you a end result.
And this is going to conclude my H2C multicolor printing video. If you ever felt hesitant to make a purchase of the H2C, I hope that this video gives you a better idea of just how easy this machine actually is. Bamboo Lab has made the integration seamless into the Bamboo Studio software, and I must say, they did it quite well. Have an H2C question? Leave it in the comments below, and I'd love to answer it for you. Again, my name is Nick. I hope you're doing well, and as always, happy printing.